Ladies and gentlemen, as you guys know, on the channel, I like to dive into the story of Call of Duty, and today is absolutely no exception. In fact, about a week ago, I made this tweet here because I had an epiphany, and what that was is that we were talking about Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War, which is said to be the next Call of Duty title. It is said to take place in the Black Ops universe, which is, of course, crossed over with the Modern Warfare universe, and it's said to take place during the Gulf War, in other words, the early 90s. Now, as far as what we know here, I made a video going over who I thought the main character, the protagonist of that game was actually going to be. But what I realized, we also probably know who one of, if not the main antagonist is going to be in this game as well. And we've actually seen him several times, not only in Modern Warfare, but also on top of that in Black Ops, specifically Black Ops Cold War. And I kind of wanted to give a video and you guys asked me to do so on Twitter. If you don't follow me, check that link out down below. But I thought I would do a video going over exactly why we know this and all of the evidence that actually leads up to that. And as I said, you'll see what I mean as we go through. But first, we're going to do this in an interesting order because I want to do it in the order that we were presented with Imran Zakaev. You'll see why. So Imran Zakaev was first introduced in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare series. But as we know, this series is not canon currently within this Modern Warfare, nor in the Black Ops universe. It's kind of its own story in and of itself, but I quickly wanted to go over his character in that game. He was presented as not only a terrorist working for Russia, but also an arms dealer with a company by the name of Zakaev Arms. An ironic name because in Chernobyl, years before the events of Call of Duty 4, Captain Price, or I guess I should say Lieutenant Price and Captain McMillan were working in Chernobyl, trying to hunt down and take out, assassinate Imran Zakaev. Why? Because he was upgrading his company from just selling ammunitions and weapons to now going after weapons grade plutonium. Moving forward to the events of Call of Duty 4, Imran Zakaev started to work with people like Khalid al-Assad and other extremist groups. So, Task Force 141, specifically Captain Price and his fellow soldiers, were sent in to stop this. And by the very end of the game, that is exactly what happened. Soap alongside Captain Price managed to take out Imran Zakaev. But as we mentioned, this isn't the current story whatsoever of Imran Zakaev. To understand that, we have to go to Modern Warfare 2019. Throughout the entire campaign of Modern Warfare 2019, there was no mention of the Zakaevs until the very end, when Captain Price was having some tea with Kate Laswell. Zakaev wants Barkov's throne. I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of hot tears. What we know from this is those events that we saw in Call of Duty 4 in Pripyat with Captain McMillan. Captain Price also did that in this Modern Warfare timeline as well. We don't have an exact date, but we know it happened, which means Zakaev is around and after which we found a bunch of crates with the Zakaev Arms logo on it. What we find out later through Spec Ops is that Mr. Z or the Zakaevs are specifically working with Alcatala as weapon smugglers. Then as we are pushed through the story of Verdance, the Zakaevs are introduced more and more. We find out that they are working with Khalid al-Assad and are the ones pushing forward the idea of launching the nukes and turning on the missile silos within Verdansk. By the very end of the Verdansk story, we managed to take out Imran Zakaev's son, Victor Zakaev, but Imran was nowhere to be seen. And there's a reason for that. On May 28th, 2020, Modern Warfare, specifically Call of Duty, put out a blog post on the biography of Viktor Zakaev. And in this, it goes in depth about Imran Zakaev. It tells us that Imran was a high ranking official in the interior ministry under the communist regime, that Imran had high expectations and valued education, insisting his middle son be fluent in Italian, German, English, and French. Hating academia, but loving and fearing his father, Victor towed the line. At 16, was enrolled in a prestigious preparatory school in Verdansk. In December of 1994, Imran Zakaev underwent emergency heart bypass surgery. Keep that in mind, we will be coming back to that. And remained in hospital for months. Victor still claims that his father's troubles were manifestations of a broken heart. Again, remember that. At this point, Victor assumes his father's duties 
But years later, in the year 2011, Imran Zakayev finally passed away. Which, by the way, I thought when I first read this years ago, I thought it was due to cancer. But scanning this, I don't see that anywhere. We see a heart bypass surgery and that he died in 2011. So kind of strange there. But remember, December 1994 emergency heart bypass surgery victor assumes from a broken heart keep all of that in mind so then comes along black ops cold war and at this point we didn't really have a solid tie between modern warfare and the cold war or black ops universe if you will however there was a mission where we snuck inside the kgb and attend a meeting in that meeting we are presented with kravchenko but not just him alongside him imran zakayev now, again, this was the first time we saw this crossover between Modern Warfare and Black Ops, and it was really cool to see so. But what we find out throughout this is you can actually talk to Imran Zakayev, and he makes it very, very clear, as we saw with various pieces of intel on Verdansk, that Imran Zakayev doesn't actually agree with a lot of what Perseus is doing. He doesn't agree in this global war. He just wants the success of Russia, but thinks the extents that Perseus are going to are not quite Right. And in fact, in this conversation between Krevchenko and Imran Zakayev, we overhear them speaking in Russian, but they're talking about who kind of the betrayer to the Kremlin actually is. In other words, they are discussing on who is Perseus, or at least working for Perseus. And they are trying to figure it out just as much as we are, because they are actually against the plans of Perseus. So we have two major evil characters having a conversation here. However, we know from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 that in the year or at least around 1986, Alex Mason and Frank Woods actually eliminate Kravchenko, in other words, before the 90s. So we know that he will not be in Gulf War, which takes place in the early 90s. Piece of shit. Of course he's involved in all this. Krashenko must die. However, what we do have is Imran Zakayev. We know that he is around well into the year 2011, and specifically in the year 1994, suffers from seemingly a heart attack. Now, this could be for a couple of reasons. It could be something that we do within Gulf War. We could kill his wife. We could defeat Russia, which we know he cares deeply about giving him and making him suffer from a broken heart, like Viktor Zakayev said. Or maybe it's something a little bit more cynical, like we poison him, which would actually make a lot of sense because we see Viktor Zakayev take over Zakayev arms in the year 1994 because his father was unable to do so. Then later, he passes away in 2011, all that time assumably being pretty sick and not able to run his own company. So I truly believe that Imran Zakayev is going to come back as not the main bad guy, but at the very least a weapons dealer for the main bad guys within Black Ops Gulf War. I would be willing to bet a ton of money that he is going to be one of the main antagonists in the game. And if I was guessing, if we were going really deep, I'm guessing either we kill his wife or we poison him. And that is going to be kind of his storyline in the year 1994 in Black Ops Gulf War. I know that's a very specific guess, but based off of all of the information we have, everything we know about Imran Zakayev, I think that's a pretty solid lead, but if you disagree, if you agree, let me know. We're just trying to predict what's coming next because as of right now, no trailers or anything and probably none until June. So if you want to stay up to date on everything, you like these type of story videos, be sure to subscribe, turn notifications on, hit that like button if you enjoy these story videos because the more likes these get, the more likely I'm going to be to make more videos like it. So as always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace. We are, we are reaching for the